For managing a uh, testing working organization, there are several models which define more or less what sort of activities we need to do when we talk about the uh, verification and validation or testing or simply uh, bug finding activities. In the ISO IEC 29119, there's a concept of layered thinking involved. It means that basically there are several layers of activities in the organization. There's the test policy and test strategy, the organizational test uh, management, which means more or less that the entire organization is being managed, or the, that the one company buys their licenses and tools and professional help for all their products and projects and other things. Uh, other things. On the lower level, there's test management and fundamental level, which is all the actual work involved in testing. The test management here is on project level, meaning that the the test management work establishes the testing activities and verification and validation activities in one project, be it development of completely new product or just adding features to existing uh, existing product or tailoring the software for delivery to another customer. Overall, since we are talking about the entire organization, it's important to remember that the organization we are talking about may be large multinational corporation or just simply a five-person IT company doing development for mobile phone application for that or something like an internet game company. Any, in any way, uh, in all the different models, the things that every good model or idea on how to run testing activities should define is how, where, who and when is testing done. This involves tools, methods, personnel, test case design and selection and so on. And usually these things are defined in the test strategy which is applied on the test management in the, pro uh, in the single project level as individual cases. So basically, the two, ISO IEC 29119 test process does something like this. The test uh, strategy and test policy, i.e. the large-scale, uh, high-level documentation giving the general guidelines on how we do testing in this company, is defined by the upper management and people making the actual decisions on financial aspects and new products. There's always some version of the strategy involved and always some version of the policy. And it's up to this upper management or steering group to decide if they want to go with the existing plan uh, or do minor updates or do major updates, meaning that they do the entire test specification again. But anyway, when the test policy and strategy exist, they are applied in the organizational level. The upper box organizational test process, the upper level management is here in this blue box on the top part of the screen. The strategies and policies are applied in the test management level. This yellow box here and its uh, accustoming a green box here are both activities in project level. The yellow box represents the test management in one project, meaning that it has the test plan uh, creation, planning, testing, doing monitoring and control, and test completion on and uh, facial or compl test completion project on the finished project, mean that the this is the project manager level act, uh, work on administrating work. The project manager or the project management is required to apply the strategy and pol policies involved in their own test plan, which is then realized by the actual organization's fundamental test process, which includes all the activity of actually doing testing. This means test environment setup, test execution, test design and implementation. Uh, worthwhile to know here is that the feedback loop connects all these layers together. 
The organizational level strategies and policies are given to test management here and all the other projects of the organization which are represented here. The strategy and policies are used to create test plan and the test plan gives the order on how to conduct testing. The uh, actual fundamental work, fundamental test processes, provides results which are monitored and controlled and reviewed here and when we have done all the work we create a test completion report which is then given as a feedback to the organization. The organization can then use it to review the, their test specification and see if they need to do minor updates, major updates or no change required. Basically what it means is that the organizational level gives the tools and guidelines to the testing activities within project level where the test manager or quality manager or any, basically anyone uh, given the responsibility of quality assurance and quality control uses the information to create test plan, monitor and control the progress and develop documentation or reports to tell what is wrong and how their test activities or quality control activities could be enhanced. On test execution level, the uh, personnel doing testing work, be it developers, testers or anyone basically in the organization, is responsible for filling out incident reports and status reports which are then compiled into larger uh, reports uh, or feedback which is then used to steer the entire organization. So basically this is how the 29119 processes happen. The upper management steers the lower management, steers the actual fundamental processes or working, which gives and the fundamental working uh, force or the people doing the testing work give feedback to the project level management, who then give feedback to the organization level management. How this is actually implemented is up to the organization, but this, the, the concept of constant feedback and guidelines is something like this.